Still to come tonight, the new iPhone makes its worldwide debut in San Francisco today. Cupertino-based Apple builds a new iPhone, one that sets out to conquer most of the world. I'm consumer editor Tom Vacar. That story is still ahead. As expected, Cupertino-based Apple Computer announced a new iPhone to complement the six million already in use. This time, the iPhone comes with a price that moves it more into the mainstream, but with technology that continues to amaze. KTVU consumer editor Tom Vacar is here now with more. Tom? What a thing. Once again, Cupertino-based Apple put the wow in holy cow. And I'm really happy to tell you that the iPhone 3G is going to sell for one night. Apple Steve Jobs thrilled its annual convention of programmers with a Rolls-Royce equipped iPhone now priced like a Volkswagen. It'll be available July 11th from Apple stores, online, and iPhone's exclusive carrier, AT&T. Larry Maggots, a technology analyst. It's probably as cheap or cheaper than most other smartphones out there. Now, the new iPhone incorporates many new features, including the fastest smartphone internet access, three times faster than the previous iPhone, GPS, and access to thousands of new applications specifically designed for it. They've added the two missing features, which is decent speed and location finding, and have made the price reasonable. So it now is basically a Main Street product. Many new instantly downloadable applications are on the way. They'll be made available over a wireless download system called the Application Store. Many will cost money, while many others will be free. To prove it, Apple had a variety of outside software companies show off a dazzling array of programs, from games that use the phone's internal accelerometer to turn and tilt for controls, to sophisticated medical programs that allow doctors to review scans and MRIs from anywhere at any time. The amount of things that developers are going to do that we could never even dream of, I think is just going to excite and astound our customers. All of it allowing customers in six dozen countries to customize their systems to fit their specific needs and languages. Well, the combination, of course, the new hardware, lower price, but especially all this great software is really what's going to set it apart. Now, even at $600 a year ago, the iPhone was one of technology's towering achievements. But at $199, with all these new bells and whistles, at least to this point, it is fair to say it is the greatest telecommunications entertainment research library in the history of humankind, plain and simple. And it fits right in your pocket. Consumer Editor Tom Vacar, KTVU, Channel 2 News.